Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here with another episode of The Math Behind the Modules. This is lesson 14, the converse of the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, so in math, the word converse just simply means that if you go one direction with something, then going back the other direction is also going to be true. So, for example, if 3 plus 2 equals 5, then 5 equals 3 plus 2. Now, if I switch this if-then statement and say if, and I take the then statement and put it in the if statement, 5 equals 3 plus 2, comma, then, move my if statement over to the then statement, 3 plus 2 equals 5, then this is the converse. So another example would be a real world scenario. If it is raining, then I bring my umbrella. Could be switched to, if I bring my umbrella, then it is raining. That would be the converse of the first thing I said. So when we're doing the converse of the Pythagorean theorem, it, we can say, if a triangle is a right triangle, then a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So we've just did that in lesson 13. So let me put that down so we understand what converse is. So if I have a right triangle, then a squared plus b squared equals c squared. That was lesson 13. Now we're going to do the converse, which would be if, let me change colors here, if, switch the if statement and the then statements, so I'd say if a squared plus b squared equals c squared, comma, then I have a right triangle. And that's what we're going to do now. So they give us this triangle here, and it says the numbers in the diagram below indicate the units of length of each side of the triangle. Is the triangle shown below a right triangle? Show your work and answer in a complete sentence. So what I would do is I would say, okay, let's call this A, let's call this B, and let's call this C. I'm going to check and see if A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And if it does, then I can say that this is a right angle and this is a right triangle. So a squared plus b squared equals c squared. a is 9, 9 squared, plus b is 12, 12 squared, equals c, which is 15 squared. 9 squared is 81, plus 12 squared is 144, and 15 squared is 225. Now, if I combine like terms on the left, 1 plus 4 is 5, 8 plus 4 is 12, carry the 1, and 8 plus 1 is 9. I'm sorry, carry the 1, and then there's nothing here. 8 plus 4 is 12, carry the 1. 1 and 1 is 2. So 225 equals 225. Therefore, since A squared, ooh, don't want to capital, that's an angle. Therefore, since a squared plus B squared equals C squared, comma, a triangle is a right triangle. Okay. And that's what we're doing in this exercise, if you understand now. We're plugging values in and proving whether or not that is a right angle. And then Problem number one, it was. Okay, number two. Now, when I look here, um, the first thing we have to do is find the longest side. I didn't mention that in the last triangle because it was pretty close to looking like a right triangle just by looking at it. 
But remember, the hypotenuse is the longest side, and opposite the hypotenuse is the right angle. So 3.5, 4.2, 4.5. 4.5 is my longest side, so that's going to be my C. And since that's my C, this is going to be the angle that may or may not be our right angle. And we need to prove it. So I'm going to say A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Write the formula. Substitute the givens. So do not use this for anything but C, so I'll put that over there first. Put 4.5 squared here. And A can switch with B. This does not matter. I could do 3.5 squared plus 4.2 squared or 4.2 squared plus 3.5 squared. It does not matter. I will just make A the shorter and B the longer. Okay, so there we go. Okay, so I brought my uh, calculator in. 3.5 squared is 12.25 plus 4.2 squared, 4.2 squared equals, and just so it doesn't go away, I'm going to do the third one as well, 4.5 squared. Enter. So I want 17.64 and 20.25. 17.64 equals 20.25. So I'm going to combine my like terms here. 5 plus 4 is 9. 2 plus 6 is 8. 2 plus 7 is 9. 1 plus 1 is 2. 29.89 does not equal 20.25. So therefore, this is not a right angle, it is an angle other than 90 degrees. So therefore, since A squared plus B squared does not equal C squared, then, or I should say if, since if, if A squared plus B squared does not equal C squared, then the triangle is not a right triangle. Okay, so number two was no. Number three, okay, again, this is the shortest side, I'm going to call it A. This is the middle side, I'm going to call it B. And this is the longest side, I will call that C. A squared plus B squared equals c squared if it is a right triangle. a is 72 squared plus b, which is 154 squared, equals 170 squared. Get my calculator out. Clear that last problem. 72 squared, enter. 154 squared, enter and 170 squared, enter. So I got 5,184 plus 23,716 equals 28,900. Okay, 4 plus 6 is 10, carry the 1, 8, 9, 10, 0, carry the 1, 1 plus 7 is 8, plus 1 is 9, 5 plus 3 is 8, and I still have this 2 here, so this plus this is 28,900, it equals 28,900, they are equal, so I can conclude if a squared plus b squared equals c squared, then b triangle is a right triangle. Number four. The number in the diagram below 
numbers in the diagram below indicate the units of length of each side of the triangle. Is the triangle shown below a right triangle? Show your work and answer in a complete sentence. So again, it's just the same old, same old. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Let A be your shortest side, 9. B be the middle length, 40. And C is the longest, 41. 9 squared is 81. 40 squared is 1,600. And 41 squared. Well, I know the answer to this, but I just want to show you. 41 squared equals 1681. 1,681. Well, 81 plus 1,600 is 1,681. And 1,681 equals 1,681. Therefore, if a squared plus b squared equals c squared, then the triangle is a right triangle. Okay. After a while, these get pretty simple, don't they? All right, number five. The numbers in the diagram below indicate the units of the lengths of the sides of the triangle. Is a triangle shown below a right triangle? Show your work and answer in a complete sentence. Same old, same old. Write the formula. Substitute in the givens. A is the shortest side, 10. B is the middle, 34. And C is the longest side, hypotenuse, 36. 10 squared is 100. And I need to do 34 and 36 with the calculator. 34 squared. And 36 squared. 1156, 1296. 1156 equals 1296. 100 plus 1156 is 1256. And that does not equal 1296. So this is not a right triangle. So therefore, if a squared plus b squared does not equal c squared, then the triangle is not a right triangle. Okay, number six. Write the formula. Substitute in the givens. Let A be the shortest side, two. B be the middle length, six. And C has to be the hypotenuse, the longest side, 7. 2 squared is 4. 6 squared is 36. 7 squared is 49. 4 plus 36 is 40. 40 does not equal 49. Therefore, if A squared plus B squared does not equal C squared, then the triangle is not a right triangle, All right? Number seven, same, same, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. a is the shortest side, 2.5 squared plus b squared, which will be six, and the longest side, the hypotenuse, 6.5. 2.5 squared is 6.25 plus 6 squared, which is 36, equals 6.5 squared. 6.5 squared equals 42.25. Okay, well, I have a 6.25 and a 36.00, so I do have 0.25 here, and I need to just add 6 and 36, and 6 plus 36 is 42. So 42 equals 42 and a quarter and a quarter. So we can conclude that if a squared plus b squared equals c squared, like it does here, then the triangles are right triangles.
the triangle is. Let me see that. Let me re erase this. The triangle is a right triangle. Okay, that is the end of lesson 14. Review the summary and go do your problem set.